Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a bit of a sort of an update video. Um, I know I've been quiet on social media for a while now, but we don't really like posting anything unless it's of uh, some, <laughs> some significance. Uh, so firstly, I thought it'd be a good idea to sort of update you guys on the album. Um, a lot of people have been asking quite a lot of questions about it. Where is it? What's happening? Is it actually going to release? Is there actually even an album? I can tell you that the actual audio for the album has been finished. That's all done. That's all wrapped up. But it's just we're finishing up the emergency music video which has taken a bit longer than expected. Uh, we also, halfway through filming, we had this really good idea, so it kind of, <laughs> it kind of took off, it kind of expanded in a direction that we didn't kind of expect it to. Uh, we don't have a release date for the album quite yet. Uh, we don't want to set a release date and then not meet it. Uh, we want to have everything done. We want to have every single piece of the album done and dusted. An update on the lineup as well as the band. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate that we've had to say goodbye to our lovely guitarist Harry. Uh, he is having a baby. I know, I didn't see that one coming either. It was surprising for me, but I wish him, we really do wish him all the best. Um, I know he'll have a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully as much fun as he did uh, in the band. Uh, we do have a new guitarist, um, the fantastic Tom Ponting. He's been with us for a while now. Another reason when we've not been so active recently uh, on social media or on the gigging front is because we are writing. We are at Soundic Studios at the moment. Uh, we are writing pretty much album two, really. Uh, getting, we're trying to hit the ground running with album two once we release it so we can get a bit of a flow going in terms of the album process. Uh, we also just wanted some new tunes to play, man. Um, we know you guys are probably getting bored of the same old stuff. So as well as a update video, I really wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to so many people that have helped us throughout our year and a half as a band. The rate of growth in the first six months was unreal for me. It felt so unreal how things quickly progressed. And that was thanks to a lot of people that helped us so much. Obviously, we, we literally can't do it on our own. A band can't do that sort. To where we've got now, we could never have done it on our own. So I've made a list here, I've got my list uh, of people that I'd really like to, to thank. Uh, first of all, um, someone who, I was, because I was just listening to the show the other day, that is Jasper from the Heads Up Rock show. He approached us at a gig not too long ago and asked if he could play our music on his radio show. And of course, we were more than up for it. And as well as Amplify that I mentioned, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Nutsy. Again, someone else who's really supporting the local music scene. Um, he came up to us at a gig and he introduced himself and he, he, he really liked our music and he essentially he gave us a slot at Amplified Festival, which was fantastic. And that was such a cool, such a cool thing, such an amazing place to play. And we were so thankful that we got to play the first year. Um, if anybody was there, you'll know how great it was. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and I can't wait for next year. So again, Nazi, I can't thank you enough for that. That was uh, an awesome opportunity that he gave us. I'd like to thank Tony, who is someone who really is behind the scenes. Tony is the wonderful man who hosts our, our website. Um, our website is fantastic and I think that's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and just didn't know really know what to do with it. I didn't really know anything about web development. I didn't know anything about web hosting and Tony came along and really helped us out with that. So I can't, can't thank him enough. Uh, I'd like to thank our parents as well. Um, thought I'd get that one in there early in the list uh, because they've been so patient with us, uh, especially in those early months where we were <laughs> practicing in Joe's home. Joe's parents have got the, they're the most patient people I know for letting us make a very loud racket in their kitchen. 
uh, <laughs> now we're at Soundlink. We've got the we've got the resource. Uh, I'd like to thank Andy, um, who is he's responsible for the uh, logo on the kick skin here, and he's responsible for branding up our flight cases uh, with the CJ logo and getting us those vinyl wraps. It was something small, but for him it was something small, but for us it meant the world to see our logo on <laughs> on, on the kick drum is pretty cool. And to have all our flight cases branded up as well was fantastic. Uh, I'd also like to thank Gabby. Um, Gabby, who I met at BIM, um, just so helpful with some incredible advice. So helpful with contacts and pointing us in the right direction. Certainly me, pointing me in the right direction. Um, it was really helpful just getting getting us kick-started in the Bristol scene, in the Bristol music scene. It was so helpful. Looking back on it, it was, I mean, that was, that was gold dust, that, that advice uh, that she gave us. So again, thank you so much, Gabby. Uh, I'd like to thank Paul and Chris, who are some friends of my dad. Um, they're two very important people who really gave us some real confidence with the album. Uh, I'd like to thank Olden, Mr. Olden. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> he's the man responsible for making our album sound phenomenal. Uh, I mean, there's only so much you can do in the studio and you hand it over to Olden. And Olden was the amazingly talented man who mixed our album and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'd like to thank Howard. Um, Howard, who is the owner of Soundlink, where I'm sat now. Uh, thank you, Howard, for letting us record in your studio. And thank you for letting us rehearse and write in your studio because it makes, certainly from having a nice studio to record in, makes all the difference in the world, but having a really nice place to come and write makes all the difference in the world as well and that certainly has shown a beats writing tunes in joe's kitchen let's just say that um i'd like to thank uh alex um alex who again real real just so so helpful uh to us in our early days as a band I can't thank him enough for giving us such a good string of gigs in the early days, really getting us onto the scene, really getting us out locally, and just giving us some really nice gigs. I'd like to thank Harry <laughs> for being there from the beginning, being such an amazing guitarist and being such an amazing part of the spirit of Corrupting Joe scene. He'll be sorely missed. Um, but we really do wish him all the best. Uh, and as well as that, I'd like to thank Mark, Sean and Andy, our college tutors who, looking back on it, without their guidance, help and advice, we wouldn't be anywhere close to where we are today. Um, I mean, we, we joined and formed in college and <laughs> so literally without them, we wouldn't be here. Um, the advice that they gave us was absolutely brilliant. And to thank you all as the fans, thank you so much for supporting us um, this far uh, into our time as a band. We literally couldn't do it without you. And to every one of you who's bought a ticket, bought a wristband, bought a t-shirt, bought a snapback, bought a beanie, to any one of you who's listened to anything on SoundCloud, to every one of you who watches our vlogs, to anybody who's watching this, thank you so much for the support that you've given us and I can't wait to show you guys what we've got coming up. So thank you very much for listening and we'll catch you guys soon.